super fun stuff. Welcome to part two of how to light up your minis. In part one, I went over how to integrate LEDs and fiber optics into your minis. It took a lot of tedious work and effort. In this video, I'll show you how to create a compact battery connection that is completely hidden in a miniature's base. Luckily, this work is a tad easier than the first part. Let's go over the tools required to do this work. Just like last time, we'll rely on our handy drill to make the holes in our base. We will also need a coin battery. Due to size constraints, I recommend using a 2016 coin battery. Next, you'll need tiny magnets. The ones I am using are 1 16th inch square ones. You'll need a pair of scissors. And lastly, conductive copper tape. So let's get started making our base. Let's talk about bases. Minis come in a variety of sizes of bases. The ones I have here are 25 mm and 32 mm round 40K bases. Both have similar depths, leaving the 32 mm one slightly taller. Looking at the bases, each are under 4 mm tall. With the thickness of the top of the base, this leaves less than 3 mm of height to work with. Now to the batteries. Both of these are 3 volt coin batteries. This first one is a 2016. The last number of the battery indicates the height. The 2016 battery is 1.6 mm tall. If we look at the 2032 battery, we can see that the height is 3.2 mm roughly. Both coin batteries have the same diameter. Looking at the 2032, you can see that it's too tall. If you put it underneath the base, the base wouldn't sit flat. The larger bases have more room to work with. The method I show you will work for any size base, but it is easier to work with with a larger base. Before we start, we need to take our model and see where it will sit on the base. With this Gene Stealer model, my toothpick pin will be in the front, while the connections to the LED will be in the back. So using my handy drill, I can drill holes for both the pin and the wire hookup. It's good to estimate where the holes will be on the base. Reason being is that when you start to put stuff on the base, you can get an idea of features on the model that may lie or sit in a certain way. Planning ahead, or at least guesstimating, is a good thing to do ahead of time. I make roughly a 0.8 millimeter hole. The pin hole will be larger than the wire hole eventually, but these are really just placement holes before I do my base. Now we will need to use our magnets. Magnets come in a variety of sizes, but like I said before, we have very little room to work with. These little magnets work great, but aren't strong. So we will use four of these magnets to hold our battery. The concept is that the magnets will hold the coin battery in place, not only attaching to the bottom, but also creating a good connection for the terminals for the LED. The magnets are gonna act as our switch. If you stick the battery in, it will turn on. If you take the battery out, turn off. It's very simple and easy. A real mechanical switch is pretty bulky and wouldn't fit underneath the base. I've seen other methods too um, that make like rocks, like magnets that turn on and off, things like that. But I like this one because it's simple. With the magnets, we need to attach them to the base in some orderly fashion. The coin battery is fully magnetic. The coin battery is positive on the top and negative on the bottom, but it's also positive on the sides. So instead of connecting the positive end on the LEDs to the top, we can attach them to the side. Placing our magnets on the battery, we can kind of see where they'll sit. You want to space them out on the battery to make it stable while it sits underneath the base. If we place the battery with the magnets on the base, you'll see that the magnets, even though they're very tiny, stick the battery below the base, so the base won't sit flat. This means that we'll have to drill holes into the base and put the magnets in a bit. We know where we place our battery, but what about the connections themselves? This is where the copper tape comes into play. It's self-adhesive, it's conductive, and most importantly, it's super thin. I've seen a few other ways where people use thin little metal shim things and other methods that stick out of the base, but I didn't like any of those. Plus, this tape is cheap and easy to work with. Now let's attach our first set of magnets. I like to do the sides ones first. I attach the magnets to the battery about where I want them, and then I place it on the area where I want the battery to sit. Make sure you leave enough room from the wires that come from the bottom of the base. If you make them too close, you'll have a hard time connecting them. I now take some glue and put a small dab on each of the magnets. With the magnets attached to the battery, I place the battery on the bottom of the base and butt it against the wall where I want the magnets to sit. Just make sure not to overdo it with the glue. Once you have them in place, you have to wait till the glue dries. 
After the glue dries, you can simply remove the battery and test that the magnets are in the right spot. Next, put your battery into place. Lightly mark the area where the battery edges meet the base. This is where I can plan exactly where to place the next two magnets. These magnets will hold the battery to the base as well as supply the negative terminal connection. After marking the batteries, I estimate where the holes I need to make go. You kind of want to make them even to the existing magnets, so you basically want to make a square. I make two holes in the base. You technically don't have to go through the entire base, you could just go halfway, but it's easier and quicker just to make a hole all the way through. Make holes that are wide enough for your magnets. The drill bit that I use is still the 0.8 millimeter, but it's a tad small. So I have to twist my drill bit around to make it a tad larger. The holes are done and now I'll place in my magnets. If you go from the outside of the base, it'll be easier to put these guys in. If you put these magnets from the inside, the previous magnets we glued in will attract them. So this will make it very difficult to put in. You want to make sure you push on the magnets in a little bit, more than flush on the inside of the base. This just helps with the negative connection terminal. If you want, you can glue these guys in, but you really don't need to. Instead, I like to use the copper tape. I cut a small square and stick it over the magnets. This holds the magnets to the underside of the base. On the top side, you'll be gluing other stuff on there, so it shouldn't matter too much. Plus, I've gotten to the point where I can make the perfect hole to wedge these guys in. Practice makes perfect. I take a toothpick to make sure the copper tape is completely down. I take my battery to see if the magnets are in the perfect spot. In this case, it's great. So then I take more copper tape and I cut a thinner piece. This will be the positive connection on the side of the base. Just a note, this tape needs to be rubbed down very well. Also, don't touch the underside with your hand too much. The oils from your hands come off on the glue and then the tape doesn't stick all that well. I place the tape over the magnets on the side. Taking a toothpick, I lightly push down and I make it flat over the entire surface. I then push on the top of the magnets and the rest of the tape. You may have excess on the top. You can just take your X-Acto knife and cut away any tape that is above the bottom of the base. You want the base to sit flat, so this tape has to be cut, but it's cut very easy. So we have both our terminals for our battery. Now you want to finish your base, add your sand, rock, whatever your heart desires. It's easier to work with this base and this work if you do this prior to putting all your stuff on your base or your model onto it. When you finally do put your model on the base, make sure you route your wires down the hole you made. You should have two wires come to the bottom of your base, the red positive and the black negative. You'll probably have to cut your wires shorter, but make sure you don't cut them too short just in case you need more length later. To connect the wires to our terminals, we use more copper tape. I cut a square out for the negative terminal and stick it over the exposed wire over the terminal tape. I then do the same with the positive wire, but using a thinner piece of copper tape. In a way, you're redoing the same type of copper tape stuff you did before for the magnets, but you're sandwiching the wire leads in between. And that's it, you're done. Your battery connection is complete. So now place your battery in and you should see your mini light up. If your wires are sticking up, you can always use some scotch tape to hold them in place. Just be sure you don't cover up the battery terminals. Plus the magnets hold the battery in really well, so you can move your model around with no interruption. It's perfect for gaming. And that's it, that's the secret sauce. Here I have my small base star fader and my medium base Gene Steeler Acolyte. Sticking the batteries in, they turn on in less than a second. It's so easy. With magnets, the battery just go into place and they turn on. So there you have it, that's how you light up your minis. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions or tips. Good luck.